Traveling Mail.com. Today on World Towning, just kidding, Traveling Mail, we are going to Songtyu Han, this little town not far from here, and we are going to the Horn Park, which is an adventure park with zip lines and high ropes and crossing over sketchy things. And we're really excited. My mom sent us a little money gift to use for something like this. So we're going to do it. It's going to be great. Uh, two little quick hints. We're going to take the train to St. Johan and if you stay in an apartment or something, um, you get this little guest card. It's different than the summer card, which you have to pay for. This comes with the tourist tax that you do, and it gives you a lot of discounts, but also uh, free transport within the region on trains and buses. The other tip is the OBB app, um, the rail and bus service app is really useful it you plug in your or give it your location or it senses your location and it'll give you the time and train and even the platform you need to be on to uh, get to your destination so it's super useful Adventure Park here in uh, Sankt Johan. They got my harness, uh, gear, zipline stuff, or as they call them here, uh, flying foxes. There's actually an entire course with just flying foxes. And um, then this is just the normal stuff. Got my helmet for head buddy my brother. You know, the norm. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so excited. There, uh, this one right here, this is the flying, flying fox, whatever you call it, goes uh, right across the lake, which is, I'm looking forward to it. How many countries have you done this in now? Uh, this is my third one in a third country. Our first one was in Florence. We did a YouTube video about that. The second one was in Scotland. We did a YouTube video about that. The third one is here in Austria. We're doing a YouTube video about it. Are you, are we are we live? We've just completed our training, so we're ready to go. We're starting out with the easiest course, or one of the easier courses, and we're going to work our way up. What do you think, Finn? Good. <laughs> I love to zip lines now that I can sit down. You like that, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Because it holds you in. You don't have to use all your strength. One of the cool things about this course is that you have access all day, so you can stop, have lunch, go do another course, take a break, do another course, whatever you want to do. Red Route 2 is harder, and I can <laughs> not do Red Route 2 if this is re what Red Route 1 is. This is super hard. I'd say that we got a little bit more than we bargained for, but I didn't know that there was also the blue option. Well, gotta learn the hard way. Anders and I just did the red course, 
and we way underestimated how hard it was going to be. It was exhausting just physically. And we had one minor rescue, but then we continued on without having to get hauled down, which was awesome. Minor. And uh, we made it through. So now we are going to reward ourselves, all four of us, with some ice cream. is my favorite of the two courses I've been on. I just like that it's hard, but not too hard. The yellow course is really easy, and I don't really like that. The most exciting part on this course, I feel, is the zip line at the end. Put your hands together, yeah. Step to yeah. this side, step on the side. Because it balances out it evenly for some reason. And uh, now we are heading into town here to meet some friends for dinner. We just met these people on Instagram a couple week ago or something and we spent a day at the bathing lake in uh, Kirkburg and now we're gonna have some dinner because they're staying here in Sankt Johan. So excited, fun to have friends, you know, in, in uh, Austria. And so dinner, we're ready for it. We just finished dinner. We had lots of good food. I even had a burrito, which was really a fajita, but it's still delicious. And a few beers. And I think we're gonna go walk around Sankt Johan and just having fun hanging out. Yeah, you're ready, man. Woo! Yeah! Sankt Johan! 